welcome to another episode of Endless Seas Fishing. Heading out today, try our luck again for a few tuna, mackerel. Really hoping for a long tail, but, or um, possibly maybe a couple of nice spotted mackerel. Got a few live bait in the tank. Show them what's on offer around the Mackay region. Hooked on Mackay has kindly asked me if I'd like to be an ambassador for a promotional period. Uh, so yeah, a couple of videos coming out promoting Mackay's fishing um, and the Hooked on Mackay page. Check them out. They share a lot of good content there. There's lots on offer inshore and offshore if you can get out. Hopefully we can um, show it off today. You can see the um. Are you a today? Yeah. You can look at the water rippling as well. If you um do get one of those hook, the herring hooked up, I can drive up where they are. It's like, it's like you're swimming and you're probably going to turn the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, especially if we're moving. Oh, look at that. that out. That's amazing, eh? Yeah, every week. It is a very um spectacular place we live in. Eh? I'll hook up in here. My overview on that. Sorry, mate. Yeah, right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're not hooking up. <sighs> these might be long. These are long tail, I think. They're, they're feeding more individually and full jumping. That's my theory. Well, the tuna just going massive pack attacks. Yeah, there is a long tail in there. 
How's the casting going today? What's that? How's your casting today? Yeah, that's good. What's that? Yeah. That was like perfect. Oh. Is that you? No, nah, but. When you see the long tail full launch out of the water, you see them clearly, but the Mac Chena don't. They just like carve the surface with their mouth open. So these are what we want. Well, it's mixed, but. Or a long tail. You've hooked long tail, hey? Yeah. Yeah, that tastes better. What are you Just a little metal plug. Some real nugget size long tail in there. You think like every calf hang at nut. Oh, I thought you were on. <laughs> There's a lot of boats out there actually trying. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's a long tail right there. No. Why is mine spinning in circles? Yeah, the long tail eats bigger, hey? Your rod's going off. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, See that? Know. Yes! Woo! Oh, that's a good fish for. I'll get this out of the way. What is it, mackerel? Oh, that might be cobia. <laughs> oh, is this record? If it comes up just beside the boat, I'll just gaff it. But until then. Oh man, he's. Oh, sorry. This way, this way. That's a good spotty. It's a nice fish. Yeah. That's fun. On the live herring, no wire. Well done. That's bigger than yesterday. Tip tape measure? Oh, I don't actually. Oh. Falls, um. Oh. Very nice spot of mackerel on the, um, the live herring. Can you say a few words? Oh. We got Paul here. Beautiful spotted mackerel. It's actually a really good size, I reckon, for Mackay on the um, live herring. Yeah, that was a great fight, wasn't it? Thanks to Luke for catching some live herring this morning at the ramp and uh, putting us on the spot. We're not far out. We've got um, the harbour there. We've got the Surf Life Saving Carnival in the background, and we've got fish just busting up all around us here. Um, Got 
got their single hooks on, so hopefully they hold up. We think we're on the yellow fin tuna. A uh, long tail tuna. Long tail tuna. <laughs> if it is, I'm gonna use that gaff, eh? Yeah. You want me to use it? Oh, actually, you just film it. So I changed um, lures. I put on a small size Rapala X wrap, which is a shallow diving high speed lure. They have a little bit of weight so you can cast them and you can wind as fast as you want, basically. Yeah, it's running. Ooh, not happy. It felt not real. Yeah. No, it's not happy, is he? Sometimes when the fish gets close to the boat, I'll put the rod under my arm just so. Yeah, it is a long. Oh, Mac Tuna. Ah. <laughs> GoPro's like gonna fall off, eh? Oh, it's fun on the lure. It is the best when you um see the eat. Come on, buddy. Oh, cool, that's good fish, eh? Yeah, so that's the um, lure there. Sort of provides a underwater presentation. Beautiful Mac tuna there. I'm gonna let this guy go. So that was a nice Mac tuna. Just had to um, try a few different techniques. So I had the chrome lure on to start with, which sort of like mostly on top of the water action because you're winding it fast. Um, we had live bait out the back. The tuna aren't liking those, they're too big, but the spotted mackerel come through. They'll nail it straight away. Um, and so then I've gone to a shallow diving lure, which just gives it, yeah, underwater presentation and sometimes that's something different and the tuna's taken it. Um, so it's just, yeah, worth trying a few different techniques. That's a good body, is it? Or is it a um, different mackerel? Oh yeah, well oh, that's a good spotty. Mate. It's on the spotty king. Smash. Yeah. All right, so we done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did a bit of trolling there and um, big, no, not big, but six meter diving pacemaker there in the yellowfin color. Pull him up. Well, we, we were going for about 100 meters. Oh, what's the boat there? <laughs> um, we went about 100 meters when we got him. What else? I was far. Turn it sideways a bit more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's a good spotty. Excellent. That's a really nice fish. Yeah. It's a picture, it's a... Well done, Paul. That's good fish, isn't it? Yeah, excellent. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Endless Seas Fishing. I hope you really enjoyed that one, seeing what's on offer in shore around the kayak, chasing mackerel and tuna. Don't forget to like the video, comment, 
subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on. That would be much appreciated. In the meantime, happy fishing, and I hope you look forward to the next episode. Thank you.